Hello everyone, this is Karthik from ITLN. I hope you're doing well. A uh, very short video to talk about a new live training that's coming up um, shortly in the next couple of days. And we will be focusing purely on the world of APIs and microservices and how they are transforming today's um, IT industry and how they're being used to build their um, overall microservice architecture based applications. So when it comes to the development getting really strong in the API microservices space, so is the need for being able to test and being able to run automated regression test too. So what is it that we need to learn from a testing perspective is number one, get a lot of fundamentals of how these basic requests and responses work, how we send HTTP commands, what are the various status codes that we get, how do we work with test data that we can package into a JSON body format and be able to uh, service these uh, HTTP commands when we want to be able to interact with these APIs and microservices. Um, so that fundamental introduction is critical for us to be able to then go into what we can do from an automation and frameworks perspective in this world of API. Bunch of tools that have become very popular and they have been designed in such a simple manner that it should not be rocket science for any of us to work on them. Uh, we would start with Postman that would give us hands on on to playing around with some very very basic tools that are available for us and how we can build uh, our tests our collections and parameterize them we will then go and explore what we can do in a similar way with java rest assured at a coding level so you open up your eclipse and start coding in all your api responses within your rest assured the other tool that has really become popular in the space of um, API testing has been Karate. When Karate launched as primarily UI and then added API, um, it really looked like a pretty simple solution, especially in ATDD and a BDD world, and how we used our Gherkin type of language to be able to write these tests. Um, and all of these tests, and the last one that definitely we will talk about is how we can create some advanced frameworks that can be easily uh, implemented across various projects and clients. Uh, the critical portion now comes towards how do we take all our automation tests and make sure that they're well aligned uh, both in our SCM world and our CICD. So these tests can get triggered as our code or our entire uh, features list of epics are moving from uh, dev to QA to production and so on. How and when and where you trigger this test? How do we do defect reporting from there? So we complete a, um, a cycle of the project implementation, implementation using uh, GitHub and Jenkins. So that would give you a good hands-on practice on how things work in a real life. Hopefully, we'll see you uh, live. Uh, please visit itln.com to register. I'm also coming up with uh, a few more trainings on cloud testing, uh, UI testing, mobile app testing, all fit for what's happening in today's automation testing world. Hope to see you in some of the future lectures there. Uh, take care. Have a good day. Bye now.